Recycling is smart, cool, big. It's one of the top trends in the country today. From workplace to home, everybody's going green for the good of the planet. One of the most important recycling centers in North Carolina is right here. A little farther, more, more, there, an oyster bed. While recycled glass is made into new bottles, recycled plastic is turned into new containers, and recycled magazines make new paper, recycled oyster shells do something much more. They keep coastal waterways healthy and thriving. Oysters are shellfish. Americans eat more than 35 million pounds of oysters a year. Two billion pounds a year around the world. That's a lot of oysters. Good thing the female oyster lays plenty of eggs, as many as 50 million at a time. The oyster eggs are fertilized in the water, and a few weeks later, the larvae sink to the bottom and find a home, an empty oyster shell. The baby oysters move in. They attach themselves to the empty shells and grow. After two to three years and three inches, they are ready for harvest by recreational and commercial fishermen. They may not look like much, but oysters are the building blocks of our coastal waters, the firm foundation of a vital ecosystem. One oyster filters up to 50 gallons of water a day, removing toxins, keeping the water clean. And oysters do something amazing. They are the city dwellers of the sea. They build reefs, apartments or condos made out of seashells. These reefs are habitats for fish and other sea life, which keep coastal waters diverse and thriving. Reefs also help stabilize the shoreline by preventing erosion. Healthy waters begin with oysters, but oysters are in trouble. One of the many reasons is there aren't enough oyster shells for baby oysters to attach to. No shells, no oysters. No oysters, no reefs. No reefs, no sea life. No sea life, no healthy waters. No healthy waters, no fun. I have my last oyster. These are great oysters. Man, there's nothing better than good oysters. And they're so hot and so good. These are great. <laughs> good, salty, local oysters. I love the oysters. They are real good. The more oysters we have, the cleaner our waters are going to be. They filter those waters and help us stay clean. The recycling aspect of the oyster population is just, you know, just keeps our, um, keeps our fishery going. Oyster shells recycling good for my business because it uh, replenishes the oyster population and we get a continuous surplus of oysters from it. Fishing perspective, you know, we're always looking for structure and uh, a structure like this is a great habitat to fish. A habitat for marine wildlife, they're also a great protection for soil erosion. Oysters are good for the environment and the economy, and that's the problem. In the early 1900s, the oyster fishery was the largest in the state. Today, it's one-tenth of that. The oyster population has dropped 90% due to habitat loss, pollution, disease, and overharvesting. But it is coming back, and you can help by recycling your oyster and other shells. The Oyster Shell Recycling Program has recycled over 185,000 bushels of oyster shells, increasing oyster reef sites by 38 acres. As growth has doubled in recent years due to public education awareness, volunteer support, restaurant participation, assistance from local government agencies and private waste company, as well as support from North Carolina legislation. This program would not be a success without people getting involved and making a difference. It eliminates the oyster shells from being in the landfill. Even That was a banned item from landfills from a few years back. By having 
these convenient center sites where we collect oyster shells in addition to this large pile, uh, it's a location for our residents to have easy access to recycling oyster shells. We have over 100 public recycling sites where individual businesses and small oyster roasts can recycle their shells. Recycling oyster shells is easy. All you have to do is take your oyster shells, fresh from dinner last night or dried from sitting outside for a while, to your local recycling center. That's it. You can find bins in restaurants, at festivals and oyster roasts, and for public use at landfills and convenient drop-off sites. Both businesses and individuals can participate in this volunteer program. The recycled shells are delivered to a holding facility on the coast to cure. Then, just as a farmer plants seeds that grow into crops, the oyster shells are planted in coastal waterways for the next season of baby oysters. The process of, of us planting culch material or planting oysters out here, uh, we offload the, the we blow the shell off and they land and they they attack. I mean, they, and they they form this nice substrate, hard substrate, for the small spat or small baby oysters to attach to. The key thing to get in there to restore and enhance oyster habitat is substrate or shell, culch material. And so the recycling program provides that valuable shell, that culch material. Larval oysters have to have that adult oyster shell to settle on. They only have a two week window uh, in their life cycle to really, uh, where they're what we call competent, so that they can settle on this. So if the oyster shell isn't here for them to settle, they won't survive. Many of our residents live along the water and have uh, taken a very active role in our oyster shell recycling and reef building program. This program provides everyone an opportunity to participate in a mission that promotes environmental stewardship. Whether you love to eat oysters or if you're a restaurant that serves oysters on the half shell, by recycling your shells, everyone benefits from a healthy oyster population. Where does delicious North Carolina seafood begin? Where do important tourist dollars start? What creates good jobs for coastal residents? Who keeps North Carolina waterways healthy, beautiful, and fun? It all begins here, with oysters. Which means it really begins here, with you. Recycling oyster shells. The goal of the program is to increase the number of shells being donated. So that way we can continue expanding the number of shells being planted in our state's waters. Well, a lot of our customers are aware that we do recycle and they're all for it because they understand the primary reasons for it is to uh, grow more oysters and keep our waters clean. Well, I started dumping them shells out there last year this time and it is solid rock out there on it right now. Gives back to uh, the resource, uh, North Carolina, the, the beginning of our ecosystems really in this grass and these oysters. Uh, you can really tell that a system's very productive and uh, happy when you see th this many oysters. I, I feel good about the program. I hope it never stops. A healthy oyster population helps everybody, you know, in the commercial fishing industry. We start a whole new oyster bed, and that oyster bed brings us new oysters, plus it gives a place for all the small fish to hide, which brings the big fish in. It's a great fishing spot. It's a great pl place to get oysters. And if you've ever eaten any of these guys, you know, they are something special. That's good. North Carolina has the largest and most productive estuary system of any state on the East Coast. Oysters are considered one of the most important species in our estuary. They're key indicators as to the health of our coastal waters. If we want healthy waterways and cleaner waters and a viable seafood industry for our state, then we should all recycle our shells with the Oyster Shell Recycling Program and feel good that we are helping to conserve this important natural resource. So if you shuck it, don't shuck it. Take your shells that were once destined to the trash heap and turn them into an estuarine treasure by participating in the North Carolina Oyster Shell Recycling Program.